Hello, this is Mr. Rogus, and I'm going about to show you a very short video on how to create groups using Google Meets. Okay, so I have a class that's live right now, and uh, they're working on something else, but um, what I'm going to do is just show you how this is done. So essentially, you will go to this Google chat area, close it out, and you want to look for like this, look, let me hide this. I'll look for like the attendance. This is like a, an attendance thing. And you want to make sure that whoever's in the class is going to be in this attendance window. So uh, this is a refresh button. You might want to hit that because sometimes there might be a student that joined in uh, after this list was populated. So you would refresh it. And then you're going to go down here to show group generator. You're going to click on that. And then however many people in the class, uh, is how you want to break up the groups. If you want usually groups of three, groups of four, or however you want it. Um, I actually have 17 students in this class at the moment because I'm actually in here twice because I kind of usually share my screen and look at another screen to, to, to check on what they're doing. Um, so that's what this is. Uh, so I have 17 in the class. So I'm going to divide it by three, uh, groups of three roughly. Um, so I'm going to say I want six groups. Okay, so I change the number of groups right there, and then I'm going to generate the groups here. Now, after I do that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy the groups, and so that way the students know which groups they're in. They're, let me move this over here. So I'm going to go down here, and I'm going to Control V and paste the groups in there, and that would be, you know, give the students a, a, about a 30 seconds to a minute, sit and tell them look for their name. That's what group you're in, and then after that, you're going to go back to the group generator again, and you're going to copy meets links. So you'll click on that and you copy it, and then you just paste it in the chat. And then you um, press enter so the kids know which group they're in. Um, and that's pretty much it. You tell them to click on that, and you can yourself click on each one of these. So that way you can sort of pop in their groups whenever. So I tend to usually do that. Okay, so that is how you do that. Um, unfortunately, the only thing you really can't do is you can't monitor the fact that, um, you know, which kids are, which kids are going in which group unless you go in the group. Um, but I think it would be safe to say that you can perhaps tell them that participation points are going to be given for this assignment so you need to make sure that you're in that group with that uh, with those people okay um, that's about all I have if you have any questions please uh, ask.